we're back again with another video. Um, just want to show everybody that this area was named after General Grant. Um, the Alexander Company had built a 20 stamp mill, which is over to the left. In 1863, gold was discovered here. Um, you can see there's a foundation here and another one. It's a couple houses. It had two general stores, a hardware and tin store, two SA offices, a bank, two drug stores, blacksmith, 12 saloons, a fine restaurant, three newspapers, two barbers, a library stable, a brothel which burned down during the second boon in the 1900s. Um, so it definitely, it definitely had a lot of sites. Um, when the brothel burned down in the early 1900s, there was a second gold boom because there's more than one mine. That's the main one. But there's other areas they tried mining and, you know, eventually when the gold ran out, the town died. But these second booms that occurred would occur in most ghost towns 10, 20 years later. But this town had it all. It had the newspaper, the post office, saloons, stores, blacksmith, everything. And they made everything in this town using the supplies found here, the wood, um, the stones, the rock, and this is what you get. This could have been a saloon. It's pretty big, and it's only the back side of it. It could have came out to the road, but it's a beautiful place. This is one of the. This is rural Nevada. This is in the heart of Nevada, and this is what it looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous, and um, you know, like I said, there's there are mountains here with woods mixed in with high desert. But the mill is over to the left. And we'll be at the mill, and then we can take a trail up and see if we can find the mines, which I think that might be the entrance up there. Anyways, come check us out, www.paranormalghostsociety.org. Um, we're in the town of Grantsville, like I said, named after General Grant. Uh, hardware store, SA offices, Wells Fargo Bank, general stores. It had about 800 people living here. And of course, that, that lost almost nearly its entire population once the mines ran out, everybody left. Um, you know, the, 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 like they had these three newspapers, so the town had its own mining news and, and different things. So it was a, it was a big town. And, and the fine restaurant, I don't know, that could be that brick building. We don't know what these buildings are. We don't have anything to go off of. But anyways, Lord Rick, We'll be back with more great footage and scenery. Um, I'll catch you in a few as we go downtown.